next guest, a very funny comedian. He's just released his debut comedy album, Pop Tart Suicide. You can get it on adamraytv.com. Please welcome Adam Ray, everybody. <laughs> Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. Happy holidays. Happy early flag day. Um, it's good to see you guys. I've been having a great 2014 so far. My Seattle Seahawks won the Super Bowl. Nobody, yeah. Two of you care. Um, <laughs> no, I forgot, you know, I hadn't been that happy uh, since I had a dream I was on Double Dare. It was the best day of my life. Uh, I forgot how emotionally invested you can get in sports uh, as, as, a, as a dude, like to the point where as a fan you feel like you contributed to the success of the team. These guys have no idea I've existed, but when people congratulate me on the win, I have no problem accepting partial responsibility. <laughs> They're like, dude, congrats, that was a big win. I'm like, yeah, thank you, thank you. No, I, uh, those nine beers I had at halftime really helped us run the ball better, so it's, I did my part. <laughs> Trying to get back in the dating scene here in L.A. Uh, obviously, that's why I picked up this baby. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's <tr> <laughs> you weren't supposed to laugh that hard at that. Uh, it's tricky. There's uh, a lot of beautiful women in L.A., but, you know, sometimes you'll be driving in your car, you look out the window, you see a really hot girl, you're like, oh, man, she's hot. Then upon further inspection, you realize, oh, man, she's a man. Uh, oops, a daisy. Uh, sometimes you can't tell these outfits. Have you even caught yourself staring at a transvestite's butt in broad daylight, fellas? Uh, heads up, it's an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> I went from, oh, uh, yeah, to, oh, no, to, yeah, uh, maybe, in like three seconds, yeah. <laughs> three seconds is all it took for me to consider it. <laughs> it's, it's becoming tougher and tougher to please you women these days. I blame Shania Twain for this. <laughs> yeah. Now don't embrace me much. I know she sounds better than that, but, you know, it's that song. When it came out, the bar got set way too high, you know? So you have a car. <laughs> that don't embrace me much. It's like, really? That took me a long time to save up for. Jeez. I didn't just get one from Oprah. I had to make several payments, you know? So you're Brad Pitt. <laughs> that don't impress me much. Really? You probably have sex with Steve Pitt, if that was a guy, you know? <laughs> Steve Pitt somewhere is really fired up right now. <laughs> one of my buddies wants me to go with him to the club to meet girls. Uh, I'm not a big club guy. Uh, just never prepared. I never have enough money. Uh, I never have enough dragons on my shirt. Um, <laughs> Yeah. You need like 30, that's too many. Some of you got defensive when I said that. <laughs> dragons are dope, dude. I have a tattoo of a dragon on my back for my dad. My dad was a dragon. <laughs> Sorry. I just drink so much at the clubs, you know? I'm just, I'm not, I'm, you know, fellas drink whatever. You ladies have limits. You know, every girl in here has one beverage that's just screwed up a portion of their life. You guys usually refer to it as a phase, right? I just, I had a vodka phase in college. <laughs> I just, I can't do vodka anymore. I just, I wish I could. I just don't trust myself on vodka. That's what it is. I just, I don't like who I am on vodka, right? But, you know, 10 years ago, I was a lot of fun. I just, you know, Katie knows. Don't think, don't say anything, Skank. You know, she, she knows, though. I was, she knows 10 years ago, if you got vodka in this vicinity, I would just, gah, 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 gah. I would eat it because I liked it so much. <laughs> you never specify why or what happened. Like, what happened with you and Vodka? Ah, you don't want to know. That's kind of why I asked. You know. <laughs> uh, well, I won't tell you exactly what went down with me and Vodka, but uh, let's just say I can't go to the zoo anymore. So <laughs> I just uh, have a water. <laughs> Fellas drink whatever. That's why we display the best drunk logic. You know what I'm talking about. You get so much booze in your system, your brain conjures up ideas you wouldn't think of sober. Two weeks ago, my best friend, as drunk as I've ever seen anyone at the end of the night, uh, tried to open the front door to his apartment by pressing his phone on the door. <laughs> Do you understand? He drank so much tequila, he thought he came home to the future. That's a lot of booze. And normally I would just laugh at that behavior, uh, but he's Asian, so... Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Those dudes are known for being well ahead of the times, technologically speaking, right? So when you see an Asian dude try to open a door by pressing a phone on it, we're all just standing behind him like, whoa, is that something we can do now? Is that like, should I get the update? You guys have been a lot of fun. Thank you so much. My name's Adam Ray. Yeah.